It's my pleasure to welcome to the studio today Reinhard Scholl. He's the Deputy Director of ITU's Telecommunications Standardization Bureau, and he's also one of the leaders of a workshop on digital financial services for financial inclusion. Reinhard, thank you very much. Could you tell me a little bit about ITU's role in this workshop on digital financial services for financial inclusion? Yeah, thanks, Sarah. The uh, modern financial system is not uh, working for the poor, in particular not for the unbanked, for the people without a bank account. Uh, but there is an alternative, uh, and it's called digital financial services. And in particular, uh, as it was pioneered by an operator in, uh, in Kenya some seven, eight years ago, a service whereby people without a bank account can send money to wherever they would like to uh, send money to. And this is where <coughs> ITU uh, comes, uh, comes into play. ITU is a who's a who of uh, companies and countries and regulators, academia that are involved in the uh, ICT, in the ICT industry. So ITU has a large uh, knowledge base in, in ICT. IC ITU also has a great uh, convening power it can pull together uh, different uh, stakeholders, uh, as we've seen numerous times in the uh, in the past. We had uh, organized uh, this workshop uh, on digital financial services and um, and financial inclusion, and we have indeed been able to uh, pull together a great uh, uh, number of speakers from both the banking industry and also from the uh, ICT industry. So we're very much happy about this. It's well than a workshop with a lot of energy. And it was actually the uh, sort of prelude to a, a focus group that the ITU is going to start now, today. Today is the first meeting uh, in order to uh, uh, move this work forward. Uh, the lifetime of this focus group is 20, 24 months, and uh, right now the discussions are taking place on how to structure the work. So what are the main challenges that uh, will enable us to rapidly and, and effectively leverage ICTs in promoting digital financial services? There are different, uh, different challenges. Uh, a lot of uh, countries are now trying to duplicate the, the success of Kenya. Some countries are very successful. Uh, in other countries, uh, the take up is uh, somewhat slow. So it's not quite clear uh, why are some things working in some countries, why are some things not working in other countries. There are various, uh, various uh, issues. One is the regulatory environment. Should you have a leaner uh, regulatory environment uh, and then let the market experiment a bit and then uh, strengthen the rules? Or should you come with a solid regulatory uh, touch from the very beginning? Uh, what are the business model? Uh, we have two industries: the banking industry uh, and the telco industry. Uh, does the uh, you know who offers uh, who does what kind of service? Um, uh, there are also uh, technical challenges. Uh, for example, suppose you are subscribed to an operator in your country, but you would like to send money uh, to someone who is subscribed to another operator. So. How, how do you ensure interoperability or going even a step further, suppose you have someone working in a country, uh, outside your country, and the person would like to uh, send money uh, to his or her family. Is that, uh, is that possible uh, using, uh, using mobile devices? So these are also some of the te technological questions. How do you think ITU can specifically contribute to the work of this kind of uh, focus group? What kind of expertise can ITU offer? I mean, ITU has a, a great tool in place, uh, which we call a focus group. And uh, what characterizes a focus group is it, it is that it's open to, to anyone. You do not have to be a member of uh, the ITU. So and that's what we saw in, uh, in today's uh, focus group meeting, that uh, perhaps uh, like 80% of the participants were actually from companies that were not uh, members of the, uh, of the ITU. So that's, uh, that's fantastic. And uh, so this, this convening power uh, of the ITU, I think, is a, is a great advantage. And in addition, of course, uh, whenever uh, ICT is involved, uh, you would like to uh, uh, benefit from the knowledge of the experts active in the ICT industry. So of course, ITU has a, has a large, uh, big, big uh, expertise in this topic, which can then contrib uh, contribute in solving the various challenging for digital financial services. One last question, perhaps. Uh 
the two communities, uh, financial services and, and, tel and telecoms, they're both highly regulated sectors. How easy will it be to get those two sectors to, to talk together and understand one another? It is a challenge. Uh, it is a challenge in general when you have different industry sectors uh, converging or, and if they have to talk to each other. Uh, we see this not only uh, in the uh, uh, sector of digital financial services where the banking and the telco industry uh, are part of the part of the game. Uh, we also see this, for example, with the uh, car industry. Uh, the car today is a computer. Uh, there's a lot of ICT in there. So here, uh, two industries are converging. You see it in the utility industry, where the, uh, for example, in, uh, with respect to uh, smart grids, where you have uh, the ICT industry and the utilities, the electricity industry, that um, are on, on the same table. So it's already difficult enough sometimes to get agreement, to get a consensus within the ICT industry for, for standards and for agreement on best practices. It does add a level of uh, complexity if you have another industry sector, but that's, I think that's just the way it is and uh, it's, a, it's a challenge and I think looking forward to contributing to solving this challenge. Underlines maybe the value of indeed this kind of event that uh, helps uh, kick off some dialogue. Yes, yes indeed. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed for talking yeah. to us, Rainer. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah.